<laughs> Greetings, starseeds and lightworkers. Ava here, and I'm so grateful for all of you here who are here again for the millionth time. Those of you who are tuning in right now, brand new, welcome. I am a trans channel for Pleiadian named Diana, and every Monday we're here answering your questions. So if you have them, please hop over to the website. You can pop them in the comments below. What are your questions as we're moving through this ascension process, as you're on your journey here, doing your best to show up in the love, in the light? I know it's challenging for all of us at times, so we're here to help. We're here to bring in Pleiadian perspective of this really high frequency that's really here to support us during this time. We've got a great question here. Um, this one is from Wes. Thanks, Wes, for your question. And he writes, people say, don't worry, be happy. There are even songs about it. Is happiness really the point of life? Why do some souls choose anger, fear, destruction, and others want happiness yet can't seem to find it? Great question, Wes. This is a really, I, I hear the essence of what you're really asking about here. So let's go ahead and I will just, let's just tune in. Let's just go ahead and I'll go out and put you in touch with the Pleiadians. And here we are. And here we go. And this is Diana of the Pleiadian family. <clears throat> oh, greetings! This is Diana the Pleiadian family here. We love to say the bring the love and to mm, help all the humans. You see, we are here. Mm, um, we're really helping you a long, long time for a, lo a lot of you. You see, eons of time here, specifically, mm, and, and lots of time here on the, the planet Earth. You see, on the fo in the forms, in the Earth, in the oceans, mm, around the planet, giving you all the love and the support as you move through the ascension. You see, very, very important times, and you chose the important roles in the human forms. We're so grateful for all of you in that. You see, and so mm, you are wondering about happiness, you see. Don't worry, be happy. You see, well, here to do a little singing and dancing because we <clears throat> cannot do that without um, a little bit of help from all of our friends here. You see, we like to do the singing and the dancing, you see. But all jokes aside, and, and even though we would love to play, we really hear the, um, the ache in the heart around the question, you see. Around, um, are we all just supposed to be happy all the time, you see? The Pleiadians seem to just be happy all the time, you see. And, and what, what take nothing so seriously, but things feel serious sometimes you see so what to do what to do about that when things feel serious when things don't feel so great when we are moving through the challenging moments of feeling angry generally genuinely angry or genuinely hurt or genuinely mm, worried or all of these different things these, these experiences are real in the form they are real for you so what to do do we really, what do we do? We know not to avoid them, right? This is really, this is really the experience. So we really, we embrace what is, you see. We move through the energetics and, and we understand that the, the fractal of the soul that you are in uh, the perspective of your, your angularity on consciousness, the play of consciousness itself, is choosing that frequency. You see, it's choosing that frequency for multiple, multiple reasons, you see. One for the individuality of it, one for the the experience that it creates on the those around you in the immediate circles, and the, what the, it is creating within the, the full, full entirety of the spectrum of consciousness, you see. So there is a multidimensionality to the, the reasons why these little droplets of time that seem to have these big emotional mm, impacts and seem to not be so positive actually have meaning. You see, they have meaning. And we are not saying that mm, we are always going around being mopey all the time or that we always have to be happy all the time, but to know that every energetic, every moment has purpose, has meaning, has value, you see. So while you say, well, what about all the angry people in the world? What about all the mean ones, you see? What about all the ones doing all these destructive things? How can that be good, you see? How can that have purpose, you see? Well, one way, one purpose, you see, is that anytime you have beings that are choosing to to shed, bring in a lot of the dark forces, the dark energetics, well, that um, allows the light, gives the choice point for the light to to be activated, you see, to, to, to up its game a little bit, because there always has to be the balance. There's always harmonization, equilibrium. 
within the play of consciousness. That is by design. That is the design. Always the same amount of light and dark at the play in all moments, you see. So when it seems like there's the more dark, then there is the more light, you see. It matches, it balances it up, all out, you see. And so sometimes you need the dark to remind you the light to, oh, to, to shine, you see, and vice versa. You see, so it always has to be in the balance of the equilibrium, you see. So mm, the point is, are we judging? Where are we judging the experience? This is really the heart of the question, is mm, when you are feeling like mm, the experience that you are in is not okay, is not not good, is not beneficial, then that is where we can say, mm, we're judging it as right or wrong, then that is where we can say, mm, well, why? Why Why is this? Why is where, where we are right now so bad, you see? And so it is really your angularity and your perspective on it all that is everything, you see? So it is your choice point in how you want to relate to the choices that you are making. You are making the choice. There is no victim here. You see, you are not the victim of the experience. You are the creator of the experience, you see? So from that perspective, you can ask yourself the why if you choose. You see, why, 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 why? But sometimes it is not so complex, you see, or it does not need to be understood in the mind so much. It is really simply about the experience for the experience itself, the, the sound frequency for the sound frequency itself, you see, the bending of the light for the bending of the light, you see. It is really sometimes just so simple in that, the perspective of having the experience for the experience's sake. You see, and so mm, being a little less personal with it or being more personal with it, depending on the role that you're playing with it all. So it is really mm, knowing when to move and how to move and really moving through life, choosing to live through life, owning all of it. You see, if you either own none of it or you own all of it. And really the, the best is when you can do both with interchangeably at any given moment because you know that you are both you see so knowing that you are all of creation and knowing you are none of it because both are true you see so when you can play in that world then and you can be free of judgment but owning the pieces that come through your fractal and owning your choice points because you are choosing the experiences well then you can choose from a place of empowerment you can say i'm choosing this experience you see and we are not not doing so in in a way that we are harming another. You see, this is important. You're not doing so with the harm for another. We are doing so with the the purity of the fractal experience itself. You see, and, and recognizing the impact that this is having on the whole. You see, and the individual. You see, so you're doing your best to move through without judging and and owning all the pieces that are you are showing up for the choices you are making, consciously or unconsciously. Even the ones that seem like they are happening to you, you know, you are choosing those as well. You are the creator. You are creating your creation. What are you creating today? You see, owning what you're creating. So you can create happiness. You can create joy. You can create pleasure. You can create a day of crying. You can create a day of staying in the bed. You can create a day of mm, having a rainy day where you're moping about. You can say, I have a day in the bathrobe, so to speak. You can have a day of bliss, you see. So it is really what are you choosing to create for the sake of creation's sake, for the sake of the experience of your fractal, for the experience of life, you see. And being a little bit more, <clears throat> even in the days you feel like being serious, because that is the choice point you're making. You're having a serious day and you're going to be serious and nobody's going to make you joke the whole day. Even the Pleiadians, we're not joking today. Be serious. Don't crack a joke. Don't crack a smile. You're going to ruin the whole thing. You see, even on those days, you see, you are the one choosing. You see, so making sure that you are really being aware of the mastery through what you are, through what you are moving and creating, then really just being aware, more aware of how you are really showing up for your world, because it is really your choice. You are really the master of your own creation because you are the creator, you see. And, and so mm, we are not separating ourselves so much from, from a Godhead, you see, or from a, an, a, an experience of, of God, you see. It is all one creation point happening through all simultaneously as the children of God and God all at the same time, you see. There is no separation from it all. 
and and so to be in the flow of it all, to be in the flow of it all, all of the creation, and to own the parts of yourself that are choosing, and and having experience, this is really the key. So we hope that this answers the question on happiness. You see, because you can choose happiness, you can choose anger. Both are okay. Both do not have any. They're both neutral at a certain dimension. You see, so it is really just the the movement of energy and frequency and what your particular fractal is desiring to experience because some fractals are choosing say yes i want to choose the frequency of depression this is a very important frequency for my fractal other people like i am all i'll set with that frequency i understand it through and through i do not need any more of it you see so understanding what is necessary what you come for to experience experiencing it and then knowing when you are complete with it and when it is time to choose a new frequency You see, that is also the choice. So there is no predestiny. There is always choice. There is always free will. And you are always the master of your own creation. So it is up to you what you choose to experience. So if you do not like what you are experiencing, now simply change the channel. Simply choose a new new tune, a new frequency, a new note. You see, that is up to you. So the Pleiadians, yes, we like to choose the frequency of play. We like to choose the frequency of lightheartedness, of joy, of laughter, of a little bit of jab, jab in the rib rib every now and again, and a little bit joking around. But they simply are choice point, you see. And so others choose differently, and it is all a play. It is all the play. So we are gathering together the ones that are are in alignment and resonance with play and lightheartedness and would like to move through life with more of that in their life because it feels good. They like to move through it with a lightheartedness. So you know more of those kind of people or you think they would like like the Diana. You bring them along next time. You say, come, come look at this little, little, little funny little thing over here. This Pleiadian being, she's kind of funny. You see, maybe you need a little bit more of that funny in your life, you see. There's something like this, you see. But I think you get the point, you see. Not so much serious, a little more lightness. And this all is well in the world. All is really well. And that is the other piece, not to judge it. Not to judge it. Because mm, when you're in judging, then all of a sudden, there is better and worse and right and wrong. And then, then there is you can you can mess it all up when you're in the judgment of it, you see. But if there is no judgment, then there is no possibility of messing anything up. There is no no possibility of not doing it right, you know, not doing a good job. Every job is a good job done, you see, because it is all part of the conscious breath. That is really at the end of the day. Do not take it so seriously unless you are choosing in the fractal of a day of being serious or that is your fractal's choice. Then do it. Then do it. Maybe you don't need the Diana then if you're going to be in the serious face, you see, because we have a little bit of a, of a little bit of a harder time being so serious. You see, we sometimes will play this game with the Ava, the one that it is in the body here, her children. You see, we sometimes we come into the family home. You see, we play all kinds of games with our children. You see, and sometimes we have games. Who can be the serious one? You see, it's very funny for the children, you see. So it is like this. Who can keep the straight face the longest, you see? Well, I'll just let you guess who will win at that game. It is not the Pleiadians, you see. That is for sure, you see. We are we are not good at the seriousness so much. But we will try our best when we are playing the game of serious. So if you are playing the game of serious, you you do the good job of being the serious. If you are playing the game of being the lighthearted, you do that too. But do whatever you choose to its fullest, fullest expression without judgment and do it well. Do whatever ever frequency you're doing, do it well. And trust that it is it is really for the better of everything, even if it does not seem that way in the moment, you see. You cannot mess it up, you see. So don't take it so seriously. We love you all very much. Mm, blessings from the Pleiadians. <clears throat> mm. I trust that that message was exactly what you needed to hear. And if you liked it, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a like, a thumbs up, and share it. Share it with your friends. And if you liked it, let's see you back here next Monday. Blessings. <laughs>